Okay, hello people. Today I'm going to continue with uh, Amati Ninja uh, ship model and today I'm going to make a quarter deck planking. So first I need to make a central line here. Six and a half, okay. Mark center here and here. So it's 50 and a half. Okay. And make a line. And well, strange because this is not on the center. Check again. Whatever. Okay. Let's make it center. I suppose. Okay, next I need to mark a place for this because I don't want to make planks be be below this and maybe I will cut the deck later. So this drawing supplied with the kit and it's one to one scale with the actual model. So from the beginning it's, okay, it's 40, 40 but I will use 38 and now I am explain why I am going to use 38 let's mark it here so why 38 okay on the real ship and middle ages so there was no such big plan so in, of course I can cover it with like full length planks but so what I will do, maybe it's better to, ah, okay. So plank, planks was usually lace, so there was a couple schemes. So the main idea is we have two planks, they didn't, so shouldn't lay like this. So it will be like this and here the next and then go back to here it's uh, called uh, I think uh, three planks scheme there are also four planks scheme so in this case we will have one two three and four and for French ships I suppose there was five planks scheme. But here I decided to make a three plank scheme so the usually the length of one plank uh, was between six and eight meters based on one sources which I found or oh, six nine or twelve feet I decide to use about six meters in this scale it's it's 92 millimeters but uh, I will round it up to 100 millimeters okay and again so this length supposed to be in a uh, free plank scheme is I think one third of plank length but also it uh, should be nailed to rib bands and based on uh, information which I found rib bands for these shapes it's about uh, distance between rib, ba rib bands it's about 3.6 meters and this length is like 115 millimeters so 3.6 meters it's about 55 should should be like one rib band here as i suppose we have here uh, but i want to make free playing scheme so i divide this 115 to three parts and it's roughly 38 millimeters be between rib bands so that's why i mark it on 38 millimeters and i hope it's uh, understandable <laughs> and the size of this is about d5 6 or 27 still don't doesn't reach the second rib band but okay uh, 
there is no <coughs> this ship wasn't really found and we don't know how it what well, how it's exactly was built okay with it's 36 and i need to divide it so 18 oh sorry 18 each side okay 16 18 fine 18 and one more thing i need to make it perpendicular okay ah even if with the stand it's it's shaky to here and to 30 oops six okay and one more 18 to here and 36 and now link these two points uh, so it's still it's rough drawing it's not exact okay later on i will cut this hole first three bands so as i said 38 roughly so one rib band is here and i'm not sure whether it's, it's correct numbers but okay and about here nice now i can make it perpendicular perpendicular it's roughly like this okay so here i will have the joints between planks now i need to make a first plank and i want to know the size because okay 50 50 yes let it be 50 and some spare and 40 i need to cut two pieces 50 millimeters and 40 millimeters let's start i will use such kind of knife it's easier to cut planks with this so okay let's make 50 and a bit like 52 and hold the plank don't let it fly away and one more 40 say 42 i want some spare lengths <coughs> that's it fine i hope one more thing oops on the real ship uh, the deck should be watertight and and so planks was laying not exactly what to each other it there was a gap about 10 millimeters and the gap is was filled by coke calcine this is called calcine so c a u l k i n g k so it's a gap it fills with like old rope ropes or raw fiber and then filled with hot melted peach or tar so and to imitate this i will use a piece of uh, black paper so it's about 0 0.1 millimeter thick so it's about the same okay it's about the right size which i need for this scale and now what i need to do is i need to cut a line uh, with this thickness so i will glue it between the planks let's try it it's about one millimeter thick okay let's say it's 
this. Okay. And sharp knife. Oops. Press it to the table and okay. Is not enough. Yes, it's definitely not enough. than at all but <clears throat> suppose I need another surface to make this let's glue first one okay. uh, I suppose I was <sighs> it was better first to cut paper to the Appropriate length, but okay. Okay, that's it. And like up, okay, like this. So, first plank, I will keep for I think about an hour or two to be sure it's the glue is cured and all other planks will not require so much time to wait but first one yeah definitely okay Trying to make it straight with the line. Okay, I hope it will work. I prepare planks and okay. first I need to glue a piece of paper here to make an imitation of this gap. Apply glue tweezers. Okay. It's definitely not the easiest thing. I think I was doing. Okay, and more glue to hold the plank and to cover this piece of paper okay. and an interesting thing okay straight to the line and I remove uh, Excesses of glue is all there. Okay, and this gap also should be covered. Okay, just a bit here. I hope. I Definitely not the easiest. I think I 
over the barn. Okay, fine. But it will definitely require sandpaper later to remove glue and I will try to cut the excesses of paper with razor blade. I hope I will be able to do this. This part uh, close to the hole will be one piece planks and here after the hole it will be different order and now we need really something sharp to cut okay what is this and yes one straight here this glue skews really fast Okay, now I'm going to remove uh, paper with sharp knife, sharp knife. I want to, originally I want to do it with razor, but I want to see how it will looks. Wow, looks cool, but I definitely need a razor. Looks cool, really cool. And one important thing I need to mark holes uh, for mast. I will drill this right later. And <coughs> better to keep it uh, for some time to cure. It seems first uh, gap is looks better. And of course, I made a mistake. This plank should be full size so I remove plank that I just glued and one before it and it was pain I was using a knife and file to remove it okay, but I keep uh, paper piece so we'll see what it will lead to not the best but I suppose it will work and yes why it was mistake uh, so let's say this plank have joined here next here this have a full length and this have joined here but I made it here, so for next plank it will be here. Now it's fixed. I hope. First full length plank. So this glue is cures really fast and I don't need to clamp the planks to the deck, to the false deck. I'm using a tight bond uh, second and transparent. It's not so visible <coughs> on the 
on this unloading surface. It's still visible and need to be removed, but removed, but it's better than regular white glue. And I am not using super glue because it's uh, suck into wooden planks and it became to looks like glossy or change color. So I don't like how it looks and probably it gives too fast. Okay, I'm going to remove uh, one or two planks here. It will help me to cut it to the level of quarter deck. Uh, hobby, so Tamiya. Okay, I'm going to cut it uh, going down because if I will go up, uh, planks will chip to the upper side and I can damage uh, already glued planks. Okay, that's enough. I cover this uh, side of plank with glue because it will not touch the false deck. And I need something to hold it. Try to remove as much glue as possible here. It will help later. Finished with planking. Now it's time to remove all excess paper and planks. First I remove paper. Not sure why I'm doing that. Okay, enough. And as you remember here I make pre-cut for easy access. That's why it's better <coughs> to make it downside. Maybe it's better to make this <coughs> sandpaper. Yes, my better. I think this side will be covered later, but better to be careful. Okay, fun part. Let's try. Work. But <coughs> yes, since it's work, but need to be careful. Eh? Seems sharp. <coughs> sharp knife is much better than the razor and should be safer. <coughs> ok, 
Okay, and little bit of grinding. Okay, it became dusty. Okay, sanding was a bad idea, so I found the method. Uh, I use such type of knife and with such moves. Okay, and file details nails need to add nails it's a ink roller pen okay That's it.